these extra homes were lost, it just exacerbated the problem that they already had. So Fundamental Inc. Uh, was engaged to help with this, and what we included in our proposal was to put a climate change lens on the whole thing. So we know, based on what we we're seeing, that we have to consider these types of possibilities going forward in terms of safety and also the mitigation side. We know that more emissions equals more chance of this kind of stuff happening, so we want to encourage low carbon development wherever we can. And in terms of the Fiona victims specifically, who are looking for homes immediately, we really want to make sure that we're taking into account their experience, their trauma, and really trying to work with them sensitively to make sure we understand where they are, what they need, and how we can best support them. Yeah, because these are people's homes, and in many cases, they're where they are because of their livelihoods on the sea, and, and the sea plays a big part in the community identity, and I can only imagine some of their reactions. I'm wondering if you've had these conversations, what you're hearing from people when you tell them what needs to happen. We've been hearing quite a, a range of, of responses to this. Some who are saying they don't plan to stay in the community, they want to move somewhere more inland altogether. We have people who are saying they still do feel that connection to the ocean and would like to have access to a wharf or somewhere to put their boat. And we've had others say they really don't want to leave the community. They're really hoping to stay, but they don't want to be as close to the coast anymore. And I'm wondering what tools or strategies you have in place to communicate the bad news to residents that in fact they, they do need to move. One way that we try to handle that is just by being sensitive about that and acknowledging those emotions. We want to give people a chance to ask the questions and make sure that they do understand what we're saying and how it impacts them. It almost sounds like you need to have a bit of training in counseling. 